how to get sharpness 5. Well, I'm actually going to tell you how to get sharpness 5 and you actually won't even need to watch this video. I'll just tell you. Well, then I'll show you, but all you have to do is combine a sharpness 4 with a sharpness 4, you know, two tools and it'll give you sharpness 5. There, you don't even have to watch the video. Uh, well, if you do want to watch the video, you can stay around and I'll show you what it looks like. So, you know, you got your enchanting area. Okay, and your anvil. I suppose you got your swords. Da, 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 da. And we need that piece. So you know you're coming here and you're enchanting. And you're looking for sharpness. Yeah, it's just. That one didn't get it. What about this one? Oh my goodness. Looting three, knock all that and one... Ch okay, that's really good. <laughs> you know, suppose you're doing this until you get sharpness. That is one way, you know. Right now you can see I'm doing terrible. Okay, we got one sharpness three. Let's keep that sharpness three there. Man, really having a hard... See, if you're doing this in survival, this would be taking you quite a while. Look at this. I'm not even getting sharpness anymore. There's a sharpness three. So I got two sharpness threes. I come and, you know, I put them on the anvil, combine them. That gives me a sharpness four. Now, suppose I was doing it for longer until I had two sharpness fours. I put both of those sharpness fours on the anvil together, and that makes sharpness five. So I actually had to go through four swords just to get one sword of sharpness five. But that's how you do it, and that's also how you combine enchantments. Now, um, if I was going strictly for sharpness, um, it, you know, I might not prefer this method of just enchanting, because you see it can take a while. The other method, which I think is better, is trading with villagers. So we have this villager who's a librarian. He's got some nice enchantments right here, or books. So what I would do is, I would have, suppose I was in a village, I have two villagers here that don't have jobs. I give them each a job of a librarian and wait until one of them had sharpness. See if it didn't, then I remove their blocks and put it back down again. Let me change the time of day. Okay, 2000 is like the best time to trade the villagers or to get them to change professions. Riptide. No, I don't like either of those. Oop, try again. Fortune 2, that's pretty cool. Uh, and see, I would just keep doing this until one of them had the sharpness book. Oh my goodness, mending. Okay, and that's a good way to get mending too. Well, we're trying to get sharpness in this video. Curse of binding, who would ever buy that? Maybe if you're pranking your friends, I don't know. You could go steal his weapons and put Curse of Binding on him or whatever. Curse of Vanishing. Sweeping Edge. Infinity. Yeah, see, some of them are pretty good. Mending, of course, is the best. Luckily, you can do this really quick in survival. Just pick up and put down. Curse of Vanishing again, huh? Oops. Luck of the C3, that's pretty cool. Protection. Looting 3, oh my goodness. See, I would actually have kept that one if I were in my survival world. Looting 3, that's pretty good. Fortune 3 would be another one I would keep. Sharpness 1, ah, okay, well. We got at least one enchantment book. I would actually do this until it said Sharpness 3. Um, that's probably the best uh, Sharpness book you can get. But uh, otherwise, you know, at least there's a sharpness. And if you're doing this, I'd say keep doing it until you get the sharpness that you want. It can take a while. But that's the way to do it. And you can use that to combine it until you get sharpness 5. Well, that's how you do it. That's how you get sharpness 5. As a reminder, I am in Java. This probably works in the other platforms. But if it doesn't, well, it's because it's a different platform. But it does work in, at least in Java. Uh, and if you have any questions, you know, be sure to ask them in the comments below. And we'll be glad to try and help you out. That's it, guys, so bye.